Hey guys, how you doing? So today I'm going to be reviewing a superb fragrance. Uh, it's one that's very highly regarded in the community and by fragrance enthusiasts uh, and a very high quality niche scent for I think a relatively good price and we're talking about New York Intense. Uh, so let's open this box up and take a look. Uh, obviously I've worn this um, in order to review it. So I've got the 30 ml bottle here and I'm gonna do approach this review a little bit differently and you know not only talk about the scent um, but tell you sort of the things that I wish I'd considered uh, the things that are important to consider I wish I'd known uh, before blind buying this fragrance which I did uh, again it's a very outstanding scent but I think there are just a couple important points that <clears throat> you want to think about depending on your personal taste. So, because if you watch reviews of this or read anything about it, I mean, this one is just, uh, people go crazy over this scent. But I want to give you all angles so that I can help you determine for yourself, you know, whether this is going to be worth it for you personally. All right, so let's start with two sprays on the arm and that's all it's a huge sprayer and two sprays is all you're going to need with this scent because it is a strong, strong scent. Oh man. Okay. So very nice. Um, the first thing I'll say is that when I first tried this, it reminded me, you know, of many other fragrances. It, it wasn't totally a new thing, right? You've probably come across something like this before and namely for me, I'm talking about probably the closest thing, something like Abbey Rouge by Guerlain. Um, and another one that, you know, I can think of is uh, Lalique Porom Lion. Uh, these all kind of belong to the same family. And um, I've seen some people compare New York Intense also to Chanel's Pour Monsieur. Uh, so, you know, all these are essentially classic masculines that follow a similar structure of a very intense uh, vibrant citrus with an underlying oak moss accord uh, and then you know floral heart some herbal nuances so basically the whole gamut uh, in a very well balanced you know sort of classy masculine smelling scent so uh, some of these like Abbey Rouge so Abbey Rouge tends to still give off a little bit of a, a dated vibe um, an, an older vibe also compared to New York Intense. I would say that, uh, you know, so there's a strong similarity, but New York Intense is a lot fuller, bolder. Uh, and I think to me, it also seems a little bit more modernized and smoothed out. Um, so all the, you know, these types of fragrances are complex and have a lot of components, but New York Intense, the blend is just perfect. So one thing to note is if you don't like this genre of fragrances of you know really classic uh, masculines then you may not really enjoy New York Intense as much as other people do so that's the first point um, so related point is that again I mentioned that this is basically driven by a strong oak moss accord uh, and that note uh, may not be for everyone you know oak moss especially you know uh, done to this kind of intensity can be, how should I say? I mean, it's almost like smelling um, pepper directly, you know, that it can sort of punch you uh, pretty hard. And, and this fragrance does that. So, uh, you know, in terms of the, the naming, um, I would say in the intense part is very accurate. It's a very intense experience, not to say that there's anything challenging about the scent, but just a very strong scent, so citrus oak moss. But I gotta say, I mean, the more and more I wear this, I'm just, I am loving it. Uh, it just, you know, again, there's a resemblance to other fragrances, but this is probably at the pinnacle in terms of uh, what you can achieve with this type of, uh, with, with, um, in a, just a classic masculine fragrance. Now, while we're talking about the name, I also want to mention, so this is called New York Intense. Uh, and if you watch reviews, people will say, oh, you know, what a great uh, fragrance. It, it totally captures the smell of New York. Uh, now, I live in New York and uh, it's in my eighth year here. Uh, and I would say, you know, to me personally, it's a very, very subjective thing. 
um, because you, you know, lots of people have visited New York and they have their own memories. But to me, uh, it doesn't, I mean, I don't really think of New York when I think of this type of scent. In fact, it has such a kind of classy, elegant vibe that I think more of uh, you know, like London, more of a British or other European sophistication. In fact, more French, which is basically, you know, where this fragrance comes from uh, by Patricia Nicolai. So that's sort of the, the vibe I get, like a very regal uh, French European um, kind of man. Uh, because, you know, when I think of New York, the, my experiences with the city uh, are that there's a lot of, what really is attractive is the, the grit. Um, so this is pretty, you know, the streets are dirty if you've ever visited. Um, it's just kind of crazy sometimes. There's a lot going on, a lot of noise, construction everywhere, so much concrete, right? And that, you know, is you either like it or you don't. That is the beauty of the city. And this just smells so refined that I'm not sure if, you know, New York is the, the right name for me personally. The other thing I'll mention is, in terms of size and price, right? A lot, most fragrances, I feel like when you buy the smaller size, they charge a premium, right? So per ml, you're paying a lot more. And so you don't feel so great about it. I like that even for the 30 ml uh, size, the price is, you know, for the most part proportional to the amount that you're getting. So this one costs $67, whereas 100 ml will cost 210 or so. Um, so you don't feel so bad about buying the smaller size and, and you do want to get the smaller size because you you know it's uh, you probably don't need a hundred ml when you have a collection so it's a great way to start right and I love when when brands do that uh, they give you a fair price even when you're buying not the big sizes so let's get to talking a little bit more about the scent and I'm gonna kind of um, I mean I'm not gonna dive into so much excruciating detail but just give you an overview because again it's a, such a smoothly blended fragrance uh, that is so complex that I think it'd be more useful to get an overall impression so essentially as I mentioned if you smelled any other fragrances I mentioned before think of that kind of family <clears throat> so it opens up with a very very blindingly sharp uh, blend of citruses uh, which is very nice and I love when you know I've always liked that kind of, you know, citrus burst in, in fragrances. Uh, it is a little bit strong for me, especially with the oak moss background, but it does get more tame uh, with time. Then what I detect uh, from the beginning that's that's really nice is an animal note. And, and I'm just going to leave it at, at that description. You know, you, you kind of have to smell these types of scents uh, to know what I mean. So it's a, there's a kind of rugged, um, earthy animal note, right? Something sensual uh, underneath that very uh, effervescent classic citrus. Along with that, uh, you can definitely detect a sweetness, uh, you know, from an amber accord that's underneath. And again, that's very common to fragrances that follow this structure, right? So citrus, you know, uh, citruses, oak moss, vetiver, amber. Uh, that's essentially what you're getting here with of course, a whole bunch of other little kind of nuances. So to me, overall, this is a very woodsy, uh, creamy citrus fragrance, all right? That's very, very bright from beginning to end. Um, although, you know, as the kind of citruses die down an hour or two later, you do get more of the bitter facets. And I would say you get more of the mossy, bitter, aspects that you get earlier on in a fragrance like Lalique Pour Homme, if you're familiar with this type of scent, the leafiness, the bitterness. Uh, that's not to say that the citruses are gone. I mean, that's really the one of the main parts of the, the fragrance um, during its whole lifetime. And the other thing you need to know about this scent is it's different when you smell it up close versus when you're smelling it in the air. It is one of those fragrances where to me, it's a little bit harsh when I smell it up close. Um, it again, yeah, it has more of this peppery quality that's so sharp uh, and it kind of can irritate some noses, I think. In the air, uh, it takes on a more vanillic smell. So there's definitely use of, you know, amber, an amber accord and, and some vanilla and, and all these fragrances I mentioned. In the air, you can, it's, it's a bit sweeter and softer of a scent uh, and more vanillic, I would say. And so 
That's the other thing to know about this. There, there's a definitely a sweetness there. Yeah, guys, so I would say fantastic fragrance. Pretty much you could blind buy this. Um, you know, if you think that 60 or $70 for 30 ml is a, is a fair price, you could blind buy this unless you just, you know, happen to dislike uh, or even hate uh, oak moss, strong oak moss scents um, or any of these classic kind of fragrances I mentioned. But I will say, you know, don't worry about this being too mature smelling or old smelling, um, you know, because the original, I believe, was released a while back. Um, and then this is kind of the, the newer version um, to revive that that uh, oak moss, which has been banned. So that that scent. So anyway, it's, it's very modernized, very creamy, citrusy uh, and people pleasing. Definitely, I think because it's so strong and, and so you know, distinctive in character, you're gonna get a bunch of compliments. So it's a pretty safe scent. Yeah, guys, so I hope that was all useful information for you. Um, I've planned a lot of videos uh, for the next month as well as the new year. I don't know, just the ideas came. So um, not just kind of singular reviews, but uh, more lists as well. So hopefully I'll see you guys in those videos. Um, you know, it's gonna be some interesting topics, I think that will spawn some discussion. So. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next ones. Bye.